What's going on guys? It's your boy John Liquidator coming back with another video. So it looked like Coach Prime is setting the record straight about this fool right here, Dan Laney. Guys, for this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Coach Prime definitely set the record straight about Dan Laney in a recent interview he just did with none other. The Full Sand Podcast, Coach Prime opened up about various things coming over to the Big 12, what make his team better than any other team in the Big 12. But more importantly, he talked about that Dan Laney situation in depth. Coach Prime really ain't said nothing about it since last year. And when it happened, he was kind of quiet about it. Well, guess what? He said something about it today. So those of you guys who might not remember, right before the Oregon and Colorado game, ESPN shifted the camera angle to Dan Laney actually speaking to his team in a locker room. And this is what he said. Let's roll the footage. Not flash, rooted in substance. Today, we talk with our pads. You talk with your helmet, right? Every moment. The Cinderella story is over, man. Right? They're fighting for clicks, we're fighting for wins. There's a difference. Right? There's a difference. Right? This game ain't going to be played in Hollywood. It's going to be played on the grass. So that was the clip of Dan Laney speaking to his team right before the Colorado and Oregon game. We ultimately know how that game turned out. But what stood out in that Pacific clip was that Dan Laney said he don't play for clicks. Well, guess what Coach Prime said today, bro? He set the record straight. Uh, how y'all don't play for clicks when there was a camera in the locker room with you saying that? Coach Prime ain't got to play for clicks. He been hot since 89. Let's roll the footage of what Coach Prime had to say right now. It is what it is, man. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say nobody played favoritism, um, but we got to be on that game. We got to go out and dominate. That's why, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just like a fight, a boxing match. If it's close, you, you don't know which way it's going to go. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. He talks about how uh, target on your back, like, I always just think about Oregon, the locker yeah. room, play for clicks, all that shit. Well, it's funny how you say that, but the camera's on when you say it. Right. So who's playing for the click? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's that's a point that I want to talk about, too. Yo, yo. You give that whole speech to say, oh, we don't play for clicks, but you're but getting you're the clicks by saying that. So it is ironic. Okay. So tell me this. Yeah. I want you to ask, answer this question honestly. Did you hear any other speech that he made the whole season? Not one. So who was playing for the click? Like, this is what I really do. Like, since high school, you could date it back on YouTube or whatever. This is what I do with my team. Yeah. So this is who we are. It's not playing for something or playing for a click or trying to. Why would I need exposure? Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny you put it that way. It, it's ironic. <laughs> why would I need exposure? Yeah. Last time I checked, I've been him since the 80s. <laughs> you have been him. You have been him. I'll give you that. You know, I, I don't need no exposure. I don't need a click. I, I want my team to get everything they got coming to them, man. I want those kids to blow up and be the dogs. I want them to earn more NIL money. than I, I want them to be it. I really do. Well, you in. I only need Number four out of the five. I only need four out of the five, and you're in. Crazy. So you, you discipline each player differently based on their personality. No, they get disciplined during the same, but the way you communicate with them may be differently. What do you think is the biggest difference about this program in comparison to every Pac-12 program? The sincerity and the realness, because we're not doing it for a bag. We're doing it because we love to do it. I had a bag when I came, mm -hmm. so I'm not here for that. I'm here to make sure these young men try their darnest and I can help them elevate them to the next level. This is the book. 21 ways to win on and off the field. Elevate and dominate. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted them to elevate and dominate in life. That was Coach Prime standing on business, bruh, when it comes to Dan Laney and the Colorado Buffaloes going in the Big 12, letting it be known they ain't hurt for a bag. They already got a bag, bruh. They doing this out of love for the kids, though. And I feel like if a lot of programs get to that point to where they doing it out of love, 
the world would be so much of a better place, especially when it comes to collegiate sports. But definitely get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know what? I'm going to bring you the news. And like always, until next time, baby, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Hey, you cut me. You should have seen by now. Cut me. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubting us. But we coming. They think saying. We coming. They think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.